So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. So listen, a lot of y'all like to argue me about the whole, you know, Megalodon thing. You know, a lot of y'all rock with me about it. A lot of y'all like to push back, and, and I love it. I love it. You know, when I recently, when Queen recently sent me a little article about they finding uh, Megalodon teeth now and different things like that. You know, a lot recently. I didn't, I didn't even say nothing, you know, I ain't really say nothing, you know, because I know the haters and the naysayers is out there, right? But today, this is going to kind of leave, I think, I think it's going to kind of, you know, bring credence to the whole fact that what I keep trying to stress about, bro, we really haven't discovered everything that's in that ocean, bro. We haven't even discovered a fraction of it, you know what I mean? So today's video is the top 10 weirdest things found in the Mariana Trench. I think I pronounced that right, but if I didn't, my bad. All right, bunch of grammar teachers. So listen, it says, the trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean and is well known as the deepest, deepest trench on earth. Because it's so deep and dark and filled with immense pressure, exploration of the trench has proven to be extremely Difficult, but not impossible, which has led to us being able to learn about just a few of the things that live there. I'm going to stop right there, bro. No need to read anything more. I'm hooked. I want to know. I didn't know what the Mariana Trench was before reading that, that uh, description. Now it's pulled me in. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I get to nerd out. I love to nerd out, man. I like learning stuff or reading about or checking out videos like this, man. You know what I mean? I do. So I get to nerd out on this video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, join the fam, and make sure you do one thing for them haters that's out there, bro. We love to get them mad. So if you like to get a hater mad, run the likes up, baby. Let's go. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean and is well known as the deepest oceanic trench on Earth. Because it is so deep and dark and filled with immense pressure, exploration of the trench has proven to be extremely difficult, but not impossible, which has led to us being able to learn about just a few of the things that live there. We don't know all of what goes on in this trench, but from the exploration that has been possible, we certainly have found some very strange things, some of which are not found anywhere else on earth from some creepy looking fish to humans garbage to some of the most insane sea creatures i've ever seen the mariana's trench is full of things just waiting to be discovered on today's most amazing top 10 list we are going to be diving into the top 10 weirdest things found in the mariana's trench but before we get into this video we just want to take a quick second to talk about today's video sponsor g2a.com sales up to nine free sale are needed i knew that was gone your I'm almost there. Make sure site. Smash that link and let's get into this list. Here Starting we go. Starting on this list in our number 10 spot, we have a plastic bag. It is unfortunately no surprise that on one of the deepest dives we as humans have ever been able to accomplish, along with all of the amazing new creatures and never been explored places, there would be none other than a plastic bag. In 2000 That's scary. That is definitely scary. You know what I mean? That whole, don't be dumping your trash and man, how it, how it can affect marine life and all that type of stuff like that, man. We gotta chill. In 2019, Victor Vescovo took a dive into the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, which is an unbelievable feat and not an easy task. And he was rewarded by being reminded of human trash. Despite that little finding, Victor broke the record for deepest dive, which is of course amazing for scientific advancements and research. Every time someone manages to do these things that once seemed impossible, we get closer to revealing more of our ocean's mysteries that lay at the deepest points on Earth, which is very, very cool. While it would be amazing if the dives weren't plagued with plastic pollution, at least they were able to also discover a bunch of new crustaceans 
and give us all a little look into what life looks like in the Mariana Trench. At number nine, we have the Dumbo Octopus. It's an octopus whose favorite Disney movie is Dumbo. <laughs> just kidding, that would just be weird. Almost as weird as the real Dumbo Octopus. Although that is how it got its name, because it looks like Dumbo. Anyway, 9,800 meters below the surface and found deep in the Marianas Trench, you can find these dopey kind of- Now let me tell you why things like that that look so like innocent could probably be some of the deadliest things you ever come across. Not saying that it is, but that's what goes into my mind. So I'm a little hesitant when people be like, oh, it's what is it? It's so cuddly and cute. I just want, no fam, could be the deadliest thing you come across. Just me, it mere being in your presence may kill you. No. Cute looking creatures. These creatures go from eight to 12 inches and swim using their ears. Seems cute and friendly enough, right? Well, surprising for all of us, the Dumbo octopus is actually a predator and can swallow its meals all in one gulp. These kind of octopi also fall under the cap- It be the ones, bro. It be the ones you least expected. That's like a life lesson. That ain't just a underwear. That's a life lesson, bro. Be weary of things that you least expect. Category of umbrella octopuses because they have webbed tentacles, giving them an umbrella-like shape. Almost like a starfish, but with a massive balloon on its head. Luckily, we're all too big for this dopey looking octopus to feed on us, so if you want to go for a swim and see some, you don't have to worry about them eating you. But I can't guarantee that the other deep sea creatures won't be as small. In our number eight spot today, we have comb jellies. Comb jellies are gelatinous creatures that are named for their unique plates of fused cilia, which are called combs. These combs help the jelly move through the water like boat oars, and while other microscopic organisms also have this sort of mechanism, comb jellies are the largest animal with this feature. These combs are also part of the reason that comb jellies are so gorgeous to look at. Rather than bioluminescence, the rainbow light effect that can sometimes be seen on them is from light diffracting off of the combs in all different directions. Many comb jellies have one pair of tentacles, although they appear to have multiple, but that is just caused by their tentacles branching out. I'm saying the word tentacles. <laughs> these tentacles are used to help them hunt like a sort of fishing line. Aside from this, these jellies don't sting, which is always a good thing. Not that I'm planning on heading into the deep sea anytime soon. In terms of today's list, I'd say these guys are one of the less creepy creatures we've got going on today. At number seven, we have the deep sea hatchet fish. It got its name because, well, it looks like a silvery swimming hatchet. There are over 40 species of hatchet fish and they can be found at the depths of 5,000 feet. That's just over 1,500 meters. This fish may be tiny, but it does not look that- But you got some people in the South that'd be like, yo, that's the best fish you'll ever taste. I know, I know what it looks like, but that's probably some of the best meat you'll ever have, man. That fish, I know, you just, once you get past the, the hard exterior and how it looks, bro, it'll be good. No fam, I'm not eating that. But you got people that's like that, bro. Not friendly, nor welcoming. The deep sea hatchet fish can grow between 2.8 to 12 centimeters long. So while their size and appearance may not be enough to fend off predators, these deep sea fish have evolved to form an ingenious camouflaging technique. They are also like a lot of other deep sea fish because their bodies are bioluminescent, meaning they create their own light and can glow in the dark. Oh. Their light shines from their stomachs, but no, they do not have any Care Bear powers in case you were wondering. Revealing a silhouette can be dangerous dangerous in the deep ocean because of predators, but luckily for the hatchet fish, it can control its light to match the same light in the water. That's the super cool- Learned a new word today. Bioilluminescent. Bioilluminescent. Camouflage technique I was talking about. Man, that could be useful. In our number six spot today, we have the angler fish. If you've seen Finding Nemo, you might recognize these guys. This bony fish is known for its luminescent horn that is used to lure other fish as prey. There are different kinds of angler fish, but those who live in the deep sea are referred to as sea devils, which truly does feel fitting. The females are much larger than the males and can reach up to almost four feet, while the males can reach up to five and a half inches. But these little sea devils are able to eat prey up to the same size as itself. That's crazy. Luckily, most angler fish remain so deep in the ocean that they are not a threat to humans. And even if they did live not quite so deep in the ocean, most humans would just be too big for them to even try to attack. That sure doesn't mean they aren't crazy to look at though. Just to add a little more about how strange these guys are though, these fish reproduce when the male fuses into the female and lives off of her resources until it can produce sperm. 
That sounds like a nightmare. Coming in at our halfway point at number five, we have the frilled shark. As if you weren't terrified enough of sharks, this one looks just as terrifying. Although, now that I see more pictures of it, I can't really take it seriously because it just reminds me of Jerry Seinfeld in the frilly shirt. Anyone else remember that episode? Sorry, Jerry Bear, the shark wore it better. The frilled shark got its name for its six to seven frilled gills on the side of its snake-like body. But that's not the creepiest part of this shark. The frilled shark has a set of 300 razor sharp teeth. They can grow up to six feet in size, which is 1.8 meters. Even though this was one of the first deep sea animals to be discovered in the 19th century, it's not. And he knows the, the teeth are going inward. So it's like if it cinches down on you, you go to pull out. They ain't doing nothing but digging deeper into you. Ah, that's what it looked like to me. Not the easiest to find. These sharks swim at depths of 16,000 feet, which is around 5,000 meters. However, it is extremely difficult for scientists to study this deep sea creature. They swim at such deep levels that when brought to the surface, they practically die immediately. Due to those reasons, there isn't much known about the habits and life cycles of these sharks, but maybe this is just one of those things that is better left unknown. In the number four spot today, we have the ping pong tree sponge. Doesn't this name sound so cute and sweet? like something you'd want as a little pet. <laughs> These little things are not what their sweet name would suggest. The name, of course, comes from their appearance as they quite literally look like a little tree that's growing ping pong balls, but those little ping pong balls are where it all starts. The ping pongs have tiny little hook-like extensions that are there to trap any kind of prey that gets too close. From there, the sponge slowly consumes its prey while still alive. This may not be the most vicious creature in all of the deep sea, but it is proof that looks can be very deceiving. Would you have thought that this little thing would be a carnivorous creature? It honestly was a little surprising to me personally. Starting us off in our top three, at number three, we have the goblin shark. This shark might just be the creepiest thing on this list. I don't know about you, Olivia, but how did these guys get their names? Well, let's all take a look at the massive goblin-like nose on the front of its face. Yeah, that's how it's got its name. That's how it got its name. It's not really a pretty thing to look at, but at these depths, I don't think there's many people or other fish to impress. These sharks also aren't the usual grayish color. They are- This shark look like it's aged though, don't it? Like it been around for a long time. Like an elder statesman. He just, <laughs> he just walk, he just swim around blessing the fish with his wisdom. That's what he do all day. People or other fish to impress. These sharks also aren't the usual grayish color. They are instead more of a pink. Not only do these things look absolutely crazy, they are also crazy in size. Goblin sharks can reach lengths up to 18 feet. That's 5.5 mm. meters. You probably won't be swimming near any of them anytime soon anyway though, because they live at depths of 3,000 feet. And that's about 915 meters. And the older they get, the deeper they dive. A shark that intentionally swims to its grave. How cute. See Guess who else down there? You guessed it. Megalodon. Same as the frilled shark, not much is known about these creatures. They are almost as mysterious and sought after as real goblins. For all we know, goblins are real, and when they get dropped in water, they morph into these crazy looking sharks and keep their distance from the rest of the world. <laughs> I buy it. In our number two spot today, we have the deep sea dragonfish. These guys are a pretty strong contender for the strangest looking animal on this list. These predatory fish use their fang-like teeth to grab onto their prey in the dark, cold, deep sea environment. They have no scales and instead have slippery eel-like skin, which only adds to their creepiness level. Similar to the anglerfish, these guys have a little lighted barbel that hangs from its lower jaw to attract its prey towards it. These fish really use bioluminescence to their advantage, but they also have another, less common ability. Firstly, since many of their prey are also bioluminescent, they have a special stomach that will ensure the light cannot be seen from inside of their stomach so as to not give away their position. Secondly, they are able to produce a red glow. This glow is thought to perhaps be used to signal other dragonfish, but it is definitely used by them to illuminate and detect their prey. They are the only known fish that has the 
the ability to both produce and see red light, as most fish can only see more of a blue light. So while these guys are definitely very creepy to look at, they're also pretty interesting and very talented. And finally, coming in at our number one spot and our weirdest thing found in the Marianas Trench is the zombie worm, AKA the bone worm, also, also known as the Osidax but I like zombie worm best. These worms live at the very bottom of the Marianas Trench and the very bottom of the ocean and feed off of bones of dead animals, such as whales. The zombie worm secretes acid to help access the inner contents of the dead bones and it then uses symbiotic bacteria to convert the bones, proteins, and fats into nutrients that it then uses as food. The feathery branches on the worm wiggle in the water and they pull in oxygen to keep itself alive. Females grow up to two inches in length while males are microscopic in size. Sorry, boys. Females will collect a harem of males on their body and then the males will find their way into the female oviducts. The female then releases her fertilized eggs into the water and the worm's life cycle begins again. That is about all we know about these little ones because they live at such deep depths of our ocean. So until us humans find ways to explore the depths of the Marianas Trench, we'll just have to make do with what we got. All right guys, that has been our list for today. Thank Still undefeated as one of the most dangerous Places on Earth and that ocean, a million ways and more, a million plus, let's say that, ways to kill you. It's unforgiving, just everything about it, man. That ocean has no feelings. What's in it has no feelings. And it'll kill you and move on to the next person, bro. I don't play around with it. I, I respect it. I respect it. The ocean has my utmost respect. And I respect it enough to maintain our distance. You know, I go out there, don't get me wrong, I'm on the ocean sometimes, but I have that respect while I'm out there, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, it's just me though. Y'all get at me in the comment section, let me know what y'all thought of this video, man. The top 10 weirdest things found in the Mariana Trench. Still so much to explore. I'm gone, peace.